Welcome to Nursing Prep. Push yourself in nursing preparation with smart way. Practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com. Nursing process. Planning is a category of nursing behaviors in which Option A. The nurse determines the healthcare needed for the client. Option B. The physician determines the plan of care for the client. Option C. Client-centered goals and expected outcomes are established. Option D. The client determines the care needed. Right answer is. Option C. Client-centered goals and expected outcomes are established. When establishing realistic goals, the nurse. Option A. Bases the goals on the nurse's personal knowledge. Option B. Knows the resources of the healthcare facility, family, and the client. Option C. Must have a client who is physically and emotionally stable. Option D. Must have the client's cooperation. Right answer is. Option B. Knows the resources of the healthcare facility, family, and the client. The following statement appears on the nursing care plan for an immunosuppressed client. The client will remain free from infection throughout hospitalization. This statement is an example of A. Un. Option A. Nursing diagnosis. Option B. Short-term goal. Option C. Long-term goal. Option D. Expected outcome. Right answer is. Option B. Short-term goal. The planning step of the nursing process includes which of the following activities? Option A. Assessing and diagnosing. Option B. Evaluating goal achievement. Option C. Performing nursing actions and documenting them. Option D. Setting goals and selecting interventions. Right answer is. Option D. Setting goals and selecting interventions. When developing a nursing care plan for a client with a fractured right tibia, the nurse includes in the plan of care independent nursing interventions, including Option A. Apply a cold pack to the tibia. Option B. Elevate the leg 5 inches above the heart. Option C. Perform range of motion to right leg every 4 hours. Option D. Administer aspirin 325 mg every 4 hours as needed. Right answer is. Option B. Elevate the leg 5 inches above the heart. This does not require a physician's order. A and D require an order. C is not appropriate for a fractured tibia. The primary nurse asked a clinical nurse specialist, CNS, to consult on a difficult nursing problem. The primary nurse is obligated to Option A. Implement the specialist's recommendations. Option B. Report the recommendations to the primary physician. Option C. Clarify the suggestions with the client and family members. Option D. Discuss and review advised strategies with CNS. Right answer is Option D. Discuss and review advised strategies with CNS. Because the primary nurse requested the consultation, it is important that they communicate and discuss recommendations. The primary nurse can then accept or reject the CNS recommendations. A. Some of the recommendations may not be appropriate for this client. The primary nurse would know this information. A consultation requires review of the recommendations. After assessing the client, the nurse formulates the following diagnoses. Place them in order of priority, with the most important, classified as high, listed first. 1. Constipation 2. Anticipated grieving 3. Ineffective airway clearance 4. Ineffective tissue perfusion. Option A. 3, 4, 2, 1. Option B. 4, 3, 2. 1. Option C. 1, 3, 2, 4. Option D. 3, 4, 1, 2. Right answer is. Option D. 3, 4, 1, 
2. The nurse is reviewing the critical parts of the clients on the nursing unit. In performing a variance analysis, which of the following would indicate the need for further action and analysis? Option A. A client's family attending a diabetic teaching session. Option B. Cancelling physical therapy sessions on the weekend. Option C. Normal versus and absence of wound infection in a post-op client. Option D. A client demonstrating accurate medication administration following teaching. Right answer is. Option B. Cancelling physical therapy sessions on the weekend. The RN has received her client assignment for the day shift. After making the initial rounds and assessing the clients, which clients would the RN need to develop a care plan first? Option A. A client who is ambulatory. Option B. A client who has a fever, is diaphoretic and restless. Option C. A client scheduled for OT at 1300. Option D. A client who just had an appendectomy and has just received pain medication. Right answer is. Option B. A client who has a fever, is diaphoretic and restless. Which of the following statements about the nursing process is most accurate? Option A. The nursing process is a four-step procedure for identifying and resolving patient problems. Option B. Beginning in Florence Nightingale's days, nursing students learned and practiced the nursing process. Option C. Use of the nursing process is optional for nurses, since there are many ways to accomplish the work of nursing. Option D. The state board examinations for professional nursing practice now use the nursing process rather than medical specialties as an organizing concept. Right answer is. Option D. The state board examinations for professional nursing practice now use the nursing process rather than medical specialties as an organizing concept. The nursing process is a five-step process. The term nursing process was first used by Hall in 1955. Nursing process is not optional since standards demand the use of it. Thanks for watching. You can also practice this quiz on www.thestudyblog.com link in description box. If you have any doubt ask in comment section and you like our video then do like, comment, share. Subscribe our channel for regular updates.